So the overall energy for the month is the cauldron, which is temperance. So this is about spiritual and emotional balance. This is about, you know, everything coming together. This is about patience. So a little bit about divine timing in the sense that, you know, everything needs to come together at the right time. For some, this also is a healing energy this month. We're starting off with Stone 5. So this is a feeling of material poverty, um, physical poverty, um, being left out in the cold. So this could be um, something that makes you feel physically unsafe, um, something that, you know, is affecting you financially, or um, this could be something that simply, um, you know, has you feeling down, um, as though you are sort of singled out from things. We have Spear 4. Spear 4 is about home, family, and foundations. So it's definitely about communities and, and building communities. It's about foundations. So this can be even projects getting off the ground, um, you know, or community events. This is definitely a card that I associate strongly with home, family, and marriage. And Spear 7. This is a fortress, so it's very well protected and very well defended. And um, the occupants within have the right to protect and defend their home. So if you are feeling very protective or defensive over something, whether it's your ideology, your ideals, your spiritual beliefs, um, you know, your, your work projects, your family, your home, whatever this is, this is saying that, you know, you definitely are um, feeling defensive for a reason. You have the right um, to protect yourself in that way or to protect others in that way. Um, it's not an unfounded defensive um, defensive action like um, you know if we know we've done something incorrectly and and we sort of get defensive about you know why we did what we did well it's not that kind of energy it's you know it's us defending ourselves um, from a moral standpoint and from um, a correct standpoint so it's it's definitely um, really having the high ground in that situation in order to defend ourselves and or protect those that we love. And we have the Grail King here and the Grail King could be a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio person who's really important this month. The Grail King can also be about composure and compassion. So the Grail King has qualities um, where he tends to work in or be in places where he is in a compassionate profession or an artistic profession. Um, he's very knowledgeable. He is often uh, doctors, lawyers, uh, or sorry, not, well, sometimes lawyers, like public defenders, um, and uh, nurses, pastors that type of thing where you know you are you're acting on on behalf of others or for the good of others or caring for others you have um, you know uh, you're in a caring profession you're acting in a caring capacity uh, counselors teachers that type of thing so um, we have the stone maiden as the central theme for the month and what I like about this is <laughs> She's delivering a head on a platter. <laughs> so, she's she's really um, she's really come through here. <laughs> so whatever it is, this message that's that's coming in, it's it's important. It's of a material nature, and 
This can be some type of correspondence. This can be some type of um, financial document or legal document or contract. So um, I really do I really do like this card in the aspect that um, you know there could be a new contract or or something coming up this month that's that um, all of these issues are sort of circling around whether this is a marriage contract with with spear four here or whether this is some type of work contract with um, with a new client in particular um, whatever it is it's leading to Grail 10, which is a lot of happiness and fulfillment for you. So Grail 10 is, um, I mean, I'll, I'll show you the card. It's beautiful. There's, you know, cast, castle on the beach. It's a beautiful sunny day. There's, you know, beautiful landscape surrounding. It's very calming, very peaceful. Um, a beautiful place to live. There's the sea there, which, you know, the sea has has its own abundance and, and its own offerings. And this is also, you know, it's it's a calm sea. So um if we're if we're using the metaphor um with you know grail, water and the sea, um, you know, the calm sea, the placid sea, um you yourself are very calm and placid in this situation. So it's it's contentment really grail 10 is contentment and happiness and joy and achieving um what you are wanting emotionally so for for me for now um i mean this could be a work spread very much could be a work spread um with you know defending ideas defending projects and um you know trying to make something out of nothing even um but for me right now the cards with the the card that represents home family and marriage and um, you know emotional composure emotional fulfillment um, or or a significant person Pisces cancer Scorpio person or a very loving and caring person and then we have um, the sword knight which is the knight in shining armor really so that whole here he comes to save the day or here she comes to save the day someone who comes to your aid someone who's in your corner for me, this is a very home, family, and and emotional spread. So we're very content. Um, we we have deep love, or surrounded by those who love us deeply. And then home and, and family is is a key. And and you know we're we're doing our best to defend defend and protect this home. People can be a card that says, oh well, you can't really have it all. That doesn't really exist. But for me, you know. Everything is everything comes and goes in cycles. So with life, there are times when you are so incredibly happy at home, when everything is just you know chugging along beautifully. Everything is like a well-oiled machine, and things are just going so well, and you're just so happy and so content. And then there are days or there are times where um, it's a much less well-oiled machine. For example, here. So. <laughs> For me, it's not necessarily saying like you can't have that complete emotional fulfillment and have all of your desires fulfilled, because you know that that changes. Um, that changes on a daily basis, a weekly basis, a monthly basis. How you're feeling and and what's happening around you and what circumstances you're surrounded with. So yes, you can you can have that, but um, you know it's it's not something that you're going to experience every single day for the rest of your life. You're not just going to sit with Grail grail 10 and stay there um, life happens things happen so um, you know while you're you have an incredible amount of love and a really happy home and a strong foundation and you know perhaps even this person that you put on a pedestal or this person who you know who's in your corner who comes to your aid or whose aid that you know you are you are wanting to go to and whose corner you are in so you can have all of those things and and you know still survive feeling a feeling of separation or a little bit of sadness that's happening so you can have a really strong relationship and and you know still feel something other than complete joy and contentment but you know there are times where you are going to feel that way you're going to feel like everything is perfect and that you wouldn't change anything so we have the sword hallow 
And this is new insights, new information, new truths. This, this is a sort of victory as well. So, you know, it's almost like you're, you're taking up this sword, you're taking up this cause, and you're moving forward. So, um, for some reason, we have this separation at the end of the month. But again, the cauldron is about patience. So I don't necessarily see this as a great big breakup. I don't necessarily see this as, you know, the complete destruction of a relationship. Um, I, I see this more as, you know, there might be some type of separation or, you know, there might be an event that causes some sadness. Um, and you can feel um, sadness or, or some, some type of destruction of something and, and not completely lose faith and and um lose those that you that you love or or have surrounding you so um i don't see that i don't i don't see you know the five of cups and i don't see i don't see the ten of swords indicating an ending and i don't see death indicating an ending what i see is simply some sadness at the end of the month or some type of separation um and this is this is mainly in a home relationship or family situation. So the sword knight, this could be a different person, um, depending on who you are. Oftentimes, um, you know, this can be somebody that we've sort of put on a pedestal. Um, but the sword knight is also that knight in shining armor that you know comes to the rescue. <laughs> like a heads will roll kind of thing. I'm not sure why that's catching my attention, but I'm sure that it, that will make sense for someone. Okay. So again, um, the overall energy, the cauldron, which is temperance. So this is that spiritual and emotional balance. This is healing and also patience. Okay. And Virgo. September 2016. Oh. Hmm. We have Lady Titania, and of course it's right next to Grail 10. It says, Be Joyful. So Lady Titania is about bringing people together in life-changing, sacred, and meaningful gatherings, mothering others joyously, being greater than you appear to be, understanding the need for joy and happiness, and gatherings that delight in the company of soulmates, family agreements and pacts that are reinforced through celebration, coming together in community with friends, finding your soul family, being protected and nurtured by friends and soul family. So very, very deep connections with others can still be playful. All right, Virgo, thank you so much. And I hope you have a wonderful month of September. Take care.